Let's face it, New Jersey has historically been the Rodney Dangerfield of states. That's the story of my life. No respect. I've got no respect at all. You can't have no respect at all. You can't. Rodney Dangerfield and New Jersey, perfect together. Neither gets any respect. Comedy acts and movie scripts are historically rife with jokes about New Jersey. So had his head chopped off in New Jersey two nights ago. You ever get over to New Jersey, Nash? Not if I can help it. And that's part of the problem. People tend to see New Jersey as a long row of chemical plants and oil refineries because so many people commute on the Jersey Turnpike to and from New York. It is so unfair. It would be like judging New York City by the Staten Island landfill. Look, we all know the great beauty of the Garden State, of Patterson Falls, the Delaware River Gap, the Barnegat Lighthouse. Heck, most of the people who put down New Jersey spend their summers at one of the beautiful Jersey Shore resorts. But unfortunately, it's not just the landscape of New Jersey that gets a bad rap. It's the people, too. And again, you can blame the media. It is fair to point out at this point that most of the cast of the Jersey Shore is from New York. In all the cases of New York dumping trash in New Jersey, the Jersey Shore is the most egregious. So, New Jerseyans either get painted as trashy because of the Jersey Shore or as mobsters because of HBO. The Sopranos was bad enough, but it doesn't help that most New Jerseyans like this tough guy image, an image that wasn't helped by tough guy governor Chris Christie and Bridgegate. You see, the problem has always been geographical, with New York dominating New Jersey to the north and Philadelphia to the south. New Jersey has municipal middle child syndrome. Well, all I hear all day long at school is how great Marsha is at this, or how wonderful Marsha did that. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! That's right. New Jersey is a geographical Jan Brady. But why should we feel inferior? New Jersey is an economic powerhouse. We pour a fortune into the federal budget and we get a pittance back compared to other states. How dare they make fun of us? I would rather you just said thank you and went on your way. I will end this by reminding you that New Jersey has a history of individual greatness that is unsurpassed. New Jersey is the birthplace of one of the world's greatest inventors, of the world's greatest crooner, and the world's greatest actress. But none of them have embraced New Jersey and changed its image as much as one man. Down the shore, everything's all right. Like a force of nature, Bruce Springsteen exploded on the scene and made New Jersey cool. This is your hometown. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. Maybe it's all a coincidence. But Springsteen's songs about Freehold, New Jersey, Jersey Girls, and Atlantic City seem to have an effect. In the time that Springsteen dominated the world stage, the jokes about New Jersey dissipated and then stopped. He showed the world the secret that we all knew that New Jersey is a wonderful place to visit, but even a better place to be from. I'm Larry Menti. See you again next week. The magic rat drove a slip machine over the Jersey state line. <laughs>